Welcome new and returning subscribers. My name is Avia and in today's video, I gave myself a seven day challenge of no DoorDash, no eating out, every meal I make will be made at home. Now, why am I doing this challenge? I'm doing this challenge because I'm guilty. I fell into the DoorDash trap. The convenience of having food delivered to your house cost me hundreds of dollars, okay? And what I did was I sat down and I calculated every DoorDash order I did for three months, guys, three months. And when I saw the numbers, it really blew my mind. So. I'm like, and I know how to cook. That's the crazy thing. So it's about stop being lazy, get your butt up and cook your own feel, your own food. Go to the grocery store and cook your own food. Hundreds and hundreds of dollars spent on DoorDash alone. And that's not even the food that I ordered to go pick up or the food that I ordered for lunch. And I also noticed the weight gain as well, guys. So here I am on my seven day challenge. I am gonna show you guys every meal that I ate. Now I don't normally eat breakfast. I know they say breakfast is like the most important meal of the day, but in my world, sometimes I just, I'm not hungry in the morning. So I don't eat. I just really don't. Um, coffee's usually my breakfast. Anyways, here is my meals for a whole week, a whole seven days. Welcome back friends, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Abia, and I make content centered around my lifestyle. From van life to divorce, now solo living in my apartment. And I'm realizing that no matter where we are in life, no matter our age, we can live our joy by embracing the things that truly make us happy and fulfilled. And despite what life throws at you, make joy a priority in your life. For the next week, my meals will be simple, repeatable, and delicious. Now, I'm not a big breakfast eater because usually I'm just really not hungry in the morning. I usually have about two cups of coffee and that usually ties me over until lunch. So in my coffee, most times I put some French vanilla creamer. I top it with Pampered Chef Cinnamon Plus Spice Blend. Y'all, that's a combination of cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, cloves, and ginger. And if you don't know, you need to find out. Topped it with some non-dairy coconut ready whip and baby. Who needs Starbucks? <laughs> Definitely not me. Did I forget to mention that it's Monday and it's also my work from home day. So for lunch today, I was able to cook myself breakfast for lunch. I started off by frying me some beef bacon in the frying pan, y'all. Beef bacon is my go-to bacon since I don't eat pork. Now I match that with some eggs, spinach, and cheese. Most days I forget to drink water. So I'm working on drinking more water. And about an hour after my lunch, I'm having my first taste of ice cold water. And for a snack, I'm having Nature's Bakery Brownie with salted caramel. Now, a woman like me needs her chocolate fix. We still on day one. So for dinner, I made me some spaghetti noodles with vegetables and spinach. Don't ask me what I put in it. I just put some in it. But I baked me an eggplant coated with panko breadcrumbs topped with mozzarella cheese, y'all. Do y'all see that golden crust on them eggplants? Wow. This meal was simple, repeatable, and delicious. It's Tuesday, I made it past day one. And today, I work in the office. And during my time when I was ordering out, uh, McDonald's oatmeal was one of my go-tos. So I still wanted oatmeal. So instead of McDonald's oatmeal, I am making my own oatmeal to take to work for lunch today. I topped my oatmeal with 
cinnamon plus of course and for sweetness I added brown sugar raisins honey and instead of adding apples like McDonald's does I used free dried strawberries for dinner this evening I am baking me some pre-seasoned chicken that I got on sale at the grocery store and I coated it with some Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. I paired it with my sweet and savory Brussels sprouts with turkey sausage. Y'all, let me know if you want me to share my sweet and savory Brussels sprouts. Let me also know if you like your Brussels sprouts sweet or savory because I like it both. I'm on day three now, it's Wednesday, and I'm feeling really good. I've noticed that I have not been feeling bloated or weighed down. And on days that I work in the office, I come home every day about midday to let Bella out so that she can relieve herself. So that's what I'm doing now. This does get a little tiring at times, but actually, I enjoy taking a break away from the office to come see my Bella baby. This way. at people down the street. You got a boo-boo? Bell bell? You got a boo-boo? Uh, uh. Come on. Bell. <laughs> yeah. Bell. She's so excited. Oh my gosh. Bell. No. Come here. Oh, where's your bone? Here it goes. Look, you want a peeny bone? You want a peeny bone? You want a peeny bone? Okay, come on, let's go in the house. My lunch is at work, so we got some oatmeal for lunch. Oatmeal for lunch. I'm still keeping it simple, repeatable, and delicious by having oatmeal again for lunch. All right, I think it's ready now. My bread is ready. You know, you leave your bread in there too long, your bread gets hard. So, there's my bread. I just nuked it with a wet paper towel. And there's my dinner with my garlic naan bread, my Indian style, India, Indian, India style. For dinner, I am having leftovers, keema curry, basmati rice, and garlic naan bread. No cooking. And I did say repeatable, so I'm having the same thing for lunch the next day. It's Thursday. Work was rough. I was mentally drained and I really wanted to order a quick meal that could be delivered to me. But I also didn't want to let myself down. So I cleaned the kitchen and I ended up making myself some baked salmon paired with rice and seaweed. Here is dinner. Got my rice and salmon with a salad. Yay! I stuck true to my challenge. It's Friday and I'm feeling really proud of myself for not taking the lazy bus on Thursday and for not spending one cent on DoorDash or takeout. So Friday for lunch, I am having a BLT. Now, I didn't have time to make my lunch that morning before going to work, so I made my lunch on my break after I took Bella outside. So I had BLT, grapes, and sparkling water. And y'all, this is on point. If you don't eat pork, get you some beef bacon. Friday for dinner, 
I'm having leftovers. Like, who wants to cook on a Friday? Not I. <laughs> I'm having leftover salmon, rice, and seaweed. Now I added some sauteed green beans that I got from the farmer's market. It is Saturday morning and this is my breakfast. It's about 10 in the morning and I'm a little hungry. But I got some eggs with spinach, Kerrygold butter, no cheese guys. No cheese and I got my beef bacon. So that's my breakfast so far. My challenge to myself is going good. I got through the hump and we'll get through the weekend. Can y'all believe I ate a breakfast? Finally, I was still a little hungry after eating that breakfast. So shortly after I snacked on some grapes. For late lunch, I fried up two beef hot dogs and avocado oil. I know this meal do not look simple, but trust me, it is. I have baked pre-seasoned barbecue chicken that I just baked in the oven, along with some potatoes with some seasoning on it. And the greens right there, those were already cooked and they're from my freezer. Today is Sunday, the last day of my challenge. Now this is the Sunday I decided to clean my entire apartment. So look out for a Sunday reset and an Abiyah playlist, which I like to jam to when I'm cleaning. I kept Sunday simple by having a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch. Y'all, you never too old for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And for dinner, I kept it repeatable by having leftover baked barbecue chicken, potatoes, and greens. I did it friends. I completed my seven day challenge to myself and that was no DoorDash, no takeout. Every meal I made was at home in this kitchen and I kept it simple, repeatable, and delicious. Now there were a few things that I noticed about my body and how I felt during the seven day challenge to myself. First of all, by keeping it repeatable, I was able to utilize leftovers. Now I did notice that after two to three days of leftovers, I'm done with it. So I gotta make sure I learn how to cook enough for only two or three days. I also noticed after I would eat my meals, I didn't feel so like bloated and heavy and weighed down and sleepy. I felt satiated, but not to the point where it gave me, you know, making me tired or making me sleepy or anything. And it kept me satisfied for a longer period of time than I would when I would eat out. I don't know why that is. Does anyone notice that when you eat out, like if you go to McDonald's or something like that and you eat your food and then maybe two hours later, you may be hungry again. I don't know. That's just me. But I liked how it didn't make me feel bloated after each meal. Now I did notice um, I felt more energized as well. Thursday was pretty rough for me. Thursday, I was feeling a little lazy. I was, even though I'm more energized, but I just didn't really feel like cooking. But I pushed through and I cooked anyways. I did what I had to do and stuck to my challenge because I didn't want to let myself down. Last but not least, which was not the initial goal of this challenge, I did lose three pounds in one week. Wow. That was with no exercise or anything, just making food at home. I lost three pounds in one week and I'm sure most of that's water weight, but you know what? I'll take it. I liked that I challenged myself. Now I really want to go another step further. I want to challenge myself again. <laughs> I want to see how it feels um, how I feel if I decrease my dairy intake. I want to give myself a 30 day challenge of detoxing my body, only eating fruits, vegetables, and nuts. That sounds really crazy, but I've been watching a lot of videos about it and it's a good way to detox my body because I really want to keep this going for my life. 
I lost three pounds, I feel great, and now I wanna take it a step further and try and get a lot of this toxins that I have in my body out, start over with a clean slate, and hopefully mature my taste buds a little bit and experiment in the kitchen and try different things to help me. Now I really wanna try and lose some weight. So I am gonna be going on a 30 day challenge of only eating fruits, vegetables, and nuts, and also exercising. So that's gonna be my next challenge for myself. And I think, and I believe, and I know that I can do it, okay? So guys, thank you for watching this video. I greatly appreciate you being here. And if you are new to this channel and have not yet subscribed to the channel, Go ahead and subscribe, follow my journey in life. It's uplifting, upbeat, positive, encouraging, all of the and above, okay? So I'll see you guys on the next video, bye. I don't need your approval to be myself. I got that on myself. Gracefully, gotta keep it cozy. I'ma take it slowly, one step at a time till my time is up. Why you stay mad at me? We gon' make mistakes, we gon' disagree.